Jonathan, last Saturday morning, my husband and I went to our favorite diner for breakfast. Love it. Awesome. A group of nine young ladies, ages roughly 10 to 14, sat with two moms at a nearby table celebrating a birthday. This fucking sounds great. I know what the issue is going to be here. I mean, right now... Sounds it sounds awesome. Saturday morning, you're at your favorite diner spot, but to have a hearty breakfast with the man that you love. You look over, there's a table of young kids celebrating, celebrating a bre- It's like America. <laughs> Eventually, we noticed that what they were wearing as they headed toward the bathroom in small groups. We noticed that they wore pajama bottoms and t-shirts. The group was leaving together at the same time we were, and so I asked, a pajama party? The fuck, old lady? What? Would you say, you old what fucking bitch? What the fuck did you say to me, old bitch? <laughs> One mom proudly informed me, they're Girl Scouts. We stole them from their beds. Amy, since when is it appropriate, excuse me, Jonathan, since when is it appropriate to go to a restaurant in one's pajamas? I see many young people wearing plaid flannel bottoms in any and every public setting, which I regard as absolutely poor taste. I think the Girl Scouts organization tries to teach young ladies some etiquette, if I remember correctly. Which I don't, because I'm old and my brain doesn't work so hot anymore. (laughs) Uh, If parents don't teach children, and especially young teen girls, how to groom themselves and act in a public place, they will assume that anything goes Anything, what happened to respect? Anything does go. What happened to respecting other people? What does that mean? Says grandma. Oh, grandma. Jonathan, these girls are they're out in their pajama bottoms and wife beaters, tank tops and tees. I think there's a there I, mean, are, I believe Grim, there is left a, the house. I believe there was a phase that I mean, I certainly went through as a young teen. Okay. That I would ten to fourteen year old Jonathan, you'd go out. I I think I attempted to wear pajamas as many places as I could because it was seven. like a, it's like a weird, it's a flex adolescent like what, flex. Yeah. Like look, well, it's well, sort in of, terms that like, hey, I'm I'm kind of coming into my own. I'll dress how I fucking want to dress. Sort of like that. It's cool. Well, yeah, because you don't you don't give a f- wait because you don't give a fuck. Kind of you don't give a fuck. Yeah. And they're like, it, it becomes, because comfort becomes like, it's paramount. I, I mean, it's just hoodies. It was just hoodies and pajama bottoms for it's, like three, slides. four years. Yeah, four, 10 to 14. And I mean, you see everyone does that now. I mean, they do it for longer than they should, but there was definitely, um, I, I've always been fond of that phase. Okay. I, there was always something about it when I see kids doing it. I'm always like, oh, I remember that. Like, that's like the best. So that's what you'd say if you saw them. Your favorite diner. Yeah. Hey, kids. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, old man. Did they steal you from your beds? No. Um, no. I, I, I just, I always am like, it's like a cool, dumb kid thing. It's, some, it's a kid when they start exercising certain rights that they can like, I can dress how I want. And it's like, you don't have your license yet. So like, you only have so many ways that you can flex. And one of the ways you can flex is be like, fine, I'll go with you guys, but I'm going in my PJs. And you look like you, yeah, it's like, uh, I don't give a fuck. We would go to school in our fucking PJs. It was like something we would do. Not like, you know, you know. Not your bathrobe, like yeah, a, sh- no. a shorty robe. I, mean, I hey, would actually, I did, if I've actually. worn robes to school. Didn't like John Cusack do that in one of his movies? I mean, it was like an 80s, since the 80s, to answer her question. Yeah. Since when? Uh, I'll since tell you John since when. Cusack, <laughs> and I'm not sure what, but he did it. He wore a shorty robe. In like Better Off Dead or something. Yeah. Since James Conn wore a shorty robe in no, 1977. but I mean, I think it's one of those things. Because technically they're pants. Oh, if they cover your, your, if they cover your yeah, I'm private not, area. I'm not going in like fucking, you know, yeah. under ruse. No. But she's they're Girl Scouts. I mean, so she was extra offended because Girl Scouts, Grandma, you're a fucking bitch. Grandma, just fucking, you, just, just enjoy, fucking mind your own fucking business, fucking you dumb bitch, you dumb mind old your bitch. Own beeswax. I don't like the way you dress. Now that's what we need. Why don't we address how you dress? Yeah, 
You dress like shit, and it bums me out. I hate those stupid capri pants yeah. that go over your knee. I those hate those fucking croc slip on fucking. You know, like see, this th- is what like, we need. If you're the advice column, like a wedge heel. This woman writes in. She gets back a single sentence that says, "Mind your own beeswax, bitch," and she's shocked into realizing, like, oh, he, he's right. He's right. I should. I'm a nosy ass bitch. What uh, what that advice column this right back? Pretty simply, honey, you just said, "Mind your own business." Mind your own beeswax, you old bitch. Nosy ass bitch. You nosy ass bitch. <laughs> 